My name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today we're going to go over basic battery stats and how to understand them. So, what exactly are battery stats? Where do I find them? And once I have them, how do I ascertain with the information that I'm reading whether a battery is good or a battery is bad? Hmm. Okay, That's, that seems like it's going to be a real big set of information there, but in reality it's actually not, and it doesn't take that long at all, especially if you're doing this on iPhones. It's actually relatively simple. Okay, so first question, what are battery statistics? Battery statistics are the average numbers throughout the battery's lifespan. Now what does that mean, Justin? That means that for every time you charge this thing, it takes a little bit of information. Okay, it's going to take that information, it's going to put it on something called a fuel gauge, and you can see here I've cut this battery open and we can see that there's actually a little PCB with a bunch of little IC chips on it. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't notice that before. Well, that's because you didn't cut into a battery, and truthfully you shouldn't just be cutting into batteries unless you're paying attention. So let me cut into the batteries and I'll teach you about the stuff in between. So with that being said, that's where they're at. They're inside the battery. These battery statistics are hiding in plain sight right there. Now, I made a mention of iPhones. Well, iPhones, there's tons of applications that are actually going to let you plug a phone in and they're going to let you read these stats. That's where we're going to find the stats in the real world. We know where they're at physically, but we need to actually read them so we can see what they mean. So now that we know where they're at, now that we know what they are, Let's jump over here and we're going to check out some special software here, which by no means is the only way to do this. There's probably about 10 to 15 different sets of software out there that'll read battery stats. And I'm pretty sure it goes through pretty much every operating system. Right off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure that there's one for Mac, there's Windows, and there may even be one for Linux. So, you know, there's really no excuse on not being able to read these things for free. Okay, so all you're going to do to find this out is you're going to take your battery. Now, I've got a disassembled phone here with a secondary battery in it that we're going to test. So let's go ahead and hook it up and let's see what it actually says. Let's go ahead and plug it in. All right. Now, I've already trusted this on my computer. If you have not trusted yours on your computer, you're going to have to do that. It'll pop up on the screen. You just hit trust and you should be able to get a connection here. And you may be thinking, Justin, what software are you using? You just said that there were a bunch of them. Well, I'm using something specifically called 3U Tools. Okay, we're going to go ahead and switch over to that now. All right, so we can see I've got the program loaded. It's called 3U Tools, and we can see a bunch of interesting information here. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you, while all of this seems like interesting information, it's not going to help us with the battery. For that, we're going to need to stay down here in the bottom right. We can see two different things down here, which is by no means the, the extent of the information we're going to be looking at. We can see charge times and battery life, but we can also see that there's a details button here that may have a little more information. How about that? We've got some more information. Again, we've got those charge times, we've got that battery life, but we have two more numbers here. We have actual capacity and we have design capacity. So what are these numbers going to tell me about this battery in terms of its health? Is it going to tell me that it's a good battery or a bad battery? Well, let's go down the list and let's take a look at each one and let's see what exactly each one means and how they correlate together. So we can see here the charge times. There's 333 times that this thing has been charged. Okay, now these are also called cycles. So technically it's gone through 333 cycles. Now 333, that may seem like a pretty high large number there, but in reality, in terms of a battery's lifespan, this is actually only about halfway through it, okay? The reason I say that is most phones are generally designed to last about two years, and that's usually about the same as how long the battery actually lasts. So 333, well, twice that, we're looking close to 700, which is about two years. So again, we've only got about half life through this thing at this point, okay? But we also cannot forget that as batteries sit, they also age and they do degrade, okay? Now, let's move down here. We can see actual capacity and design capacity. Actual capacity is what, after all the math of charging and discharging, the battery fuel gauge has come up and said, hey, this is what I think the battery's actual capacity is. It's 926 milliamp hours. Now, that's cool and all, except the design capacity under here is 1550. So that's, that's kind of weird because this thing is technically only at half of its lifespan, but 
It's also about half of its life. We can see down here that battery life is 59%. What does that mean? That is the math between 926 and 1550. 926 is 59% of 1550. Okay, so we see that it's got a really good life right there in terms of like charge time, but we've got terrible actual capacity. And I just for my gut feeling here, I really think this is just an age issue at this point. Um, I don't think that this was a bad battery because of any other reason that, other than the fact that it probably sat around in a bin for a couple years. So right there, really easy. We've got a couple different numbers here. These numbers can tell you, hey, this battery might be bad or it may even be good. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and close out of here. Um, so one thing that I do want to go over really quickly is I want to talk about the type of battery that was tested today versus other batteries on the market. Um, while there is a lot of battery testing hardware in general, there's not a lot of battery testing software. Um, just until recently, we haven't really seen anything with iOS. Uh, we are only seeing it because of the, the huge stink that everybody's throwing down about this whole you know, CPU throttling fiasco. And that's the only reason we're seeing it from Apple. Um, and on the Android side of things, we, you know, we, we get, we get some stuff, but you know, at the end of the day, it seems like if you want true battery stats, you really need to move to a hardware method. Now I was going to show a hardware method today to be able to read the battery directly using my IP box too. But unfortunately, uh, the very moment that I used it, I was like, Hey, you know, it looks like there's a firmware update. So I did the firmware update and it bricked my device. So I'm not able to show you that today, but I do have it planned for another episode. Um, it's pretty plug and play though. You kind of just plug it in and it shows you the same information that I showed you in 3U tools, but it shows you on like a handheld or something. There's a couple out there that are multimeter style and they're pretty good too. So, um, I really hope you learned something today. A lot of these battery statistic numbers, again, are gut check information kind of things, like where you look at it and you, you just have to make a decision based on what you see, but the numbers that you're given don't necessarily guarantee a perfect answer. So, so anyway, if you haven't already subscribed yet, don't forget to go down there and hit subscribe. And if you haven't got notifications on, boom, it's right there, that little bell. So go ahead and hit that too, so that you know every single time that I put out a video. Don't forget guys, if you're interested in any of the tools I use, check out the description below. I even have my own custom tools that I sell down there as well that literally do not